Welcome everyone to this Click Create Curator Spotlight. Today we have Breakthrough by Killer Acid. What was the meaning behind this month's theme? I chose the theme breakthrough because I find that like I have these moments of clarity in my life when I have this almost breakthrough when I'm just like, bam, like I feel something click. I just feel like a breakthrough is very important for an artist. And I felt like other artists would, would identify with this term breakthrough, whether they thought about it literally like a hand punching through a wall or maybe they think about it just like abstractly maybe it's like two competing forces against each other you know like a DMT blast off or maybe it is like like a spiritual breakthrough just just breaking through the boundaries of reality and coming upon like a new understanding of the meaning of the universe. That's what I would say. How does the art speak to the cultural moment we are living in? Yeah, I tend to collect and appreciate work that is vibrant, bright, and happy, colorful. Um, I think that that is what the world needs is more art that makes you feel good. I mean, uh, sometimes my own work deals with subjects that are a little more dark or deeper than that. But ultimately, I try to make work that is like eye candy on the surface, what's beneath that. So I, I think that making the world a more beautiful place, a more colorful place is very important. How did you choose the artists involved with this collection? I, I really looked through my on cyber gallery and had just kind of a top choice of people I wanted to ask. And it, it was just all work that I had collected previously and really believed in. Of course, as a curator, I'm going to want to sort of selfishly showcase work that I've been involved with that I have knowledge of that I've collected and I want to share you know I, I don't think it's actually that I, I, it's mostly that I want to share this art if you see my I mean, if you look at my if you look at my on cyber collection it's basically like hand-drawn animation illustration verging on you know pixel art colorful abstract but they're all linked together by this like color and I think the vibe, the mood, I feel like they're all, they all kind of go together. So I wanted to do a little bit of a range instead of just having all illustration or all like drawing, you know, I want it to be like representational of the sort of Tezos world where a lot of this art, where I first saw this art, you know. Is complexity of abstraction defined in Fields' art? I first came upon Fields on Tezos. I collected a few of their works and I was just immediately struck by them. As soon as I saw it, I was like, I need to have this work, I need to collect this work. I think it's just the complexity of the abstraction. I don't know how they create the work, it's mysterious to me. It's not AI generated. I'm not sure how they create it. I love the colors. I love how the colors move and shift and flow and drip. And they have a wide variety of work. So if you look at their pieces, you might, I don't know. I just, I'm amazed by, by their range. I hadn't seen them do work that they, the Clarity Mill piece, I hadn't seen anything like that from their previous work. But I was, as soon as I saw it, I loved it. So something about their work has this feeling from it. It's digital. It's programmed it's 
after effects i'm not sure how they do it but but it resonates the feeling from it comes through and it's like this pulsating color just beautiful i could see it in a psychiatrist's office how does the southwest resonate in mr melty's art Mr. Melty is an old friend of mine from Instagram. I've never met him in person. I just consider him a, a psychedelic contemporary. He's done posters and festivals and he's from the Southwest. I think that resonates in his work. I just, I wanted to give him a shot to have some recognition in the digital NFT space because he, he self-released and this whole series of skulls, which I find very beautiful and feel like it was underappreciated. So I felt like this was a way to get him in front of more collectors and more eyeballs who would appreciate his work. How does Kristen Roos create a feeling of vintage nostalgia? Kristen, I also had originally discovered through um, Sarah Zucker, I think, posting about his work I had seen it on Tezos as well and I collected a few pieces just kind of amazed by his process um, he uses old computers and old you know weaving technology bitmap I'm not sure exactly how he does it but it, same with feels there's just sort of this like beautiful vintage nostalgia and I feel like his work has a, a really great feeling that comes from it that reminds me of childhood that reminds me of like my Apple IIe computer there's so much packed into his cityscapes just it, you see as soon as you see that work you know it's his and you know it just resonates you know it hit me 